Good morning, YouTubers. T Square with T Square Talk. Well, it is 2:35, and silver and gold are back on the move again. Um, today, we're going to talk a little bit about silver and gold. Uh, for those of you that don't know, 2:35, and silver just hit thirty dollars, and gold just hit twenty-five twenty. Super excited. Um, not just because. I called the 30 uh, before 26 uh, on the little side bet that I had, but I'm excited because the price is starting to climb. And I'll be honest, <clears throat> I'm not totally in denial that $26 silver can't happen. I actually just finished up emailing a member of ours um, that I did make the bet with. And uh, he had actually sent me a picture of it right when it happened. And I emailed him back and I said, well, now seeing what you've seen, what do you think? And I'm curious to hear what you guys think in the comments. Uh, so please leave me a comment. Where do you think silver is going to go from here in the short run? So we're going to say between now and the end of next month. So that's roughly 35 days. At the end of next month, where do you think silver is going to be? Do you think it's going to be a whole lot higher, maybe another buck or two higher, or do you think it's going to have a huge pullback, or do you think it's going to pull back and then shoot back up right by the end of that month? Um, we're going to talk a little bit about that today, where I see silver going in the short run, where I see it going in the long run, and we're going to talk about gold, where I see it in the short run and where I see it in the long run. Uh, I think it's important that we talk about this because there's a lot of people that are scrambling to buy as much as they can. Now, right off the bat, I got to say, I apologize. The setup is not as fancy looking as it is some days because we just did our members only event uh, a little while ago with the bingo ball puller and the bingo balls. And so I had to have all this kind of cleared off so people could watch it live. Um, and we are at 49 members right now, uh, which is kind of interesting. Someone said the for gold 49 the 49ers, the gold miners, uh, it was kind of interesting that we hit 49 and someone had mentioned that. If you guys enjoy today's video, please take a quick minute and hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts uh, and hit that uh, subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And if you want to become a member, uh, it's not too late. You can check out the live stream that we did last night. It's a lot of fun. And I will tell you guys the special announcement uh, that I did decide to announce that if we do hit 75 members between now and the, at least the last weekend of the month, that the last weekend of next month, we will be giving away a phenomenal NGC certified coin. I'm going to show you guys that coin in a short, probably later today or tomorrow. Um, I got to go dig it out to make sure that I got it, but it's going to be phenomenal. You guys are going to love it. Uh, I'm trying to get us to 75 members. That's only 26 more members that we need. If we hit that number, it should be a certified graded Libertad, Lib Libertard, however they say it. Uh, I'm not the best at pronunciation. Uh, Libertard from Mexico. So uh, some people just call them the Libs. Um, but beautiful coin. I'm going to show that tomorrow. So uh, we're going to try to push. 26 members is nothing. Congratulations um, to Mark G for winning last night's giveaway. Uh, hoping as we grow members, we can do more giveaways. We can do bigger giveaways, a lot more fun stuff uh, as we go on. With that being said, also, if you guys caught in yesterday's video, uh, I am going to be doing a video on how to trade silver for groceries. So a lot of people are wondering how that would work, how that would play out. Some people think it can't really be done. I've done it many times and I've done videos on it before. And this will be the coin that I will be using to make my trade. Uh, I actually just got this from a buddy of mine. He said, yeah, if you want it to, you can have it for 30 bucks. I said, you know what, 30 bucks, I'll take it. Even though 30 bucks I would rather have an ounce of silver like that, uh, even though you're not going to get it now for 30 bucks because that would be spot price now we just seen silver go up. With that being said, where do I think silver will go in the short run? So th there's a few different things happening as the month goes on. Uh, as in next month, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. This month's almost over. But as next month comes, there's two major factors. And what's interesting is 
both factors are going to be pushing silver in the opposite direction. So one of the factors is going to be driving it down really hardcore. I think it's going to be a huge pull down for silver. And the other factor is going to be driving it up a whole lot higher. Now I'll talk about the whole lot higher one is going to be, since everybody knows right off the bat what that is. That is the Fed meeting next month. Uh, Jerome Powell pretty much certainly going to lower interest rates by at least a quarter percent. By doing that, uh, they're basically saying they're going to give less interest on your savings, less interest on your CDs, less interest on your bonds, and less interest on your loans and anything you're going to buy. So you want cheap money, cheaper money is going to be coming. Now, some people say that is because of the economy is not doing well even though they tell us how great it's doing. And some people will say it's political. And some people will say it's because the banks. Uh, now, what is the actual reason? It could be a little bit of all three, honestly. Um, so with them lowering interest rates, though, it's still pretty much cut and dry. Uh, less interest is going to make people want to sell their, say, their bonds, their treasury bonds, and move that money into something else that's a little more risky, but a little bit more profitable. And that money could end up going into different categories, starting with precious metals, gold and silver. That's going to be driving the prices higher. I think a lot of people already know that. So early smart money is getting into it now. And also cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and other currencies, but also the stock market, which, you know, it's kind of interesting because I think the stock market is extremely overbought right now. And a lot of people just don't see it. They don't understand what's going on and they keep putting their money in the stock market. And if that's you and you really believe it, then, uh, you know, I, I wish anybody luck. Same with if someone's going into cryptos like Bitcoin or whatever, I wish them luck. I just think that we've got a correction coming. Now, in the long run, I think it's a no brainer. Well, actually, let's go with the short run. Uh, finish up the short run first, I guess. The the short run uh, on the downside, what's pulling it down, uh, I think that's going to be the end of the third financial quarter. So there is a huge amount of short positions right now on silver that is betting that silver is going to go a whole lot lower and gold, and but not as much on gold as a short position as silver. Silver is, when you think about it, there's 400 contracts for every one ounce of physical silver. So you've got 400 paper ounces for every one ounce of physical. Now, obviously, if everybody said, I want my silver, price would have to go a whole lot higher because there's not enough silver for everybody to get their silver. But that's not likely what's going to happen. A lot of people are just in it for paper. They're just in it for fiat dollars. And I actually know one person that he was a huge, huge stacker. I'm talking, he would put my collection to shame, literally. And the reason I know this is because he sold his collection on YouTube. Um, and he sold it when it was cheap. And he said, I would rather just buy paper at this point because at the end of the day, if the price goes up, I'm going to make a lot of paper and that's going to be good enough for me. And if the price comes down, let's be honest, premium skyrocket. When silver went down to $11, you couldn't buy it for $11. But yet, if you were buying paper, you would have had no trouble buying paper for $11 wrote it all the way up to 25 taking your money out, and if you wanted to, you could end up buying physical after that. The problem with that strategy is eventually a day is going to come where the paper markets are going to crash, and people are only going to want physical. And if you are only holding paper, eh, that's not going to be good. They can drive paper to any amount that they want. They can't do that with physical. I don't care the arguments that are out there that I, I've heard a lot of arguments against this. You know, the truth of the matter is, if silver goes to a dollar, nobody in their right mind is going to sell it. No one's going to sell their silver for a dollar an ounce. I'd, I'd literally throw it in the ocean before I gave it away for a dollar an ounce. There's no reason I would. 
So the idea of that happening and people selling their silver for some super low price, a paper price, is, is just insane to me. And some people, though, they'll still want to argue and say, oh, you would not really do that. You would sell if you needed the money. And I, I just can't see that happening. I really can't. But back to the short run. So you've got, like I said, you've got the interest rate cuts that's going to drive it higher. You've got the short positions that are going to want to pull it down because they have to cover those short positions before the end of the month. Now, the only thing that I find interesting that could happen, we could see a slow road down all the way until right before the Fed meeting. And they drive it as low as they can a couple nights before the Fed meeting. And then in the middle of the night, they just really try to drop it back down to 26 and cover their short positions. And then they hurry up and they buy back in. That drives the price higher. And then the Fed meeting, they announce the rate cuts. And that is going to drive silver and gold a whole lot higher. That's kind of how I think it's going to play out in the short run. In the long run, I only can see gold and silver going a whole lot higher. There's a lot of factors. I've been having a lot of people write to me lately about the batteries, the new batteries that can... I haven't looked it up yet um, too much, but that can get charges really fast. 600 miles or some insane number. And they use silver. And some people are saying as much as 100 ounces. I haven't checked it yet. 100 ounces is a lot of silver. I would find that a little bit of an extreme. I do hope to look that up and find something factual, not something from, I'll be honest, Kitco or some big silver YouTuber um, that's promoting silver like crazy and wants to see the price go up because he owns a company selling silver at, um, or he's a huge player in the silver market. Because keep in mind, there's a lot of people that want to manipulate silver down, but there's a lot of people that want to make people think that it's going to go a whole lot higher instantly in the short run to get you in to drive the price up too. Because obviously, the higher the price goes, the people that sell it do make more money. It's just the way it is. Uh, if silver shot up to $100, you're not going to see $1 or $2 premiums. Why? Because it takes money to make money, and no one in their right mind is going to risk $100 to make 2 bucks. If that's going to be your profit margin, that's just not enough to cut it for a lot of people. So at that point, if you've got $30 silver today two, maybe three buck premiums uh, on that. If silver goes to $100, you can expect to see six to $9 premiums. And anybody that has any doubt in that only has to look at what happened in 2011 when silver shot to the moon. Well, 50 bucks, I guess. To me, that would be exciting. I'd love to see $50 silver. I would probably have to stop buying it at that point for the time being, unless I just got to the point where I had plenty of cash, I would probably go buy a new vehicle with my cash at that point and say, you know what? I'd rather have a, a nice vehicle that runs than put more up in silver. Now, some people will say, so is $50 too high? Do you sell? I would not sell my silver at $50. <clears throat> I said the absolute lowest I would maybe consider letting go of some silver would be at $60. But even then, depending on what's going on in the world, I might not want to do that either. <clears throat> so, moving on. Long run, a whole lot higher. I really do see it going a lot higher. I would not be surprised in the long run, which would be the next couple years, seeing f silver at $50 to $100 in the next couple years. I would not be surprised to see gold at $3,000 to $3,500 in the next couple of years. But here's the thing a lot of people don't think about. We could literally see 3500 uh, 3000 sorry we could literally see $3000 gold by the end of this year and we could easily see $35 silver by the end of this year uh, a lot of people think that's a pipe dream i've got one close friend of mine 
who I talk to on a regular basis. He's been a friend of mine since I was literally 10 or 11. And he's older than me. Um, so, you know, some people um, will put more stock in what older people say. Uh, they have a little more knowledge. They've been around the block. But I don't think that's the case when it comes to silver in general. I say that because the majority of older people don't even know about silver. They don't know about gold. Needless to say... Um, He is telling me that he would just be happy just to see silver get over 30 bucks and sit there for a month, uh, which is something we haven't seen. We've seen silver go to 32 bucks, but it didn't last super long. But here's the factor that you guys need to consider. Many times we've seen silver have a good jump, and then what happens? It has a pullback. But the next jump blows through the previous jump. And what I mean by that is you're seeing a higher high and a higher low. The lows are not going down as low. That means you're building up a nice stepping stairs. You go up a couple steps, you pull down a step. You go up a couple steps, you pull back a step. It still means you're moving a whole lot higher in price. And I really think we're going to see that. I think this next run that we see in the near future is going to be over $35. And then I don't think we will see under $30 again, unless, of course, we see a huge, huge market pullback. And that means the stock market panicking and collapsing. And then the pullback that we see could be like the whole cough, cough pullback where it went to $11, but it didn't last. It didn't last at all. What happened? It shot all the way up past its normal numbers and into a whole new territory that we haven't seen in a lot of years. So that's my thoughts, both long-term and short-term. I think silver is a great investment. I think gold is a great investment, but I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just telling you guys my opinion. And we're going to see how it plays out. No matter what, if you're buying silver, or you're buying gold, you have something physical. I will say, though, I got to say on stuff like this, I was never a fan of it until a subscriber started talking to me about his how his goal is to get like 250 of these. And I'm like, why when you could have 250 of something up here? And then when I did the survey, what would you rather have a Morgan dollar or a generic one ounce? Remember, it takes a dollar 40 to equal an ounce of silver which means there's a lot more silver in any of this stuff than there is in this. But yet a lot of people, more than 80% of the people would rather have the Morgan instead of a generic ounce. I think these are a pretty good play, especially if you can pick them up on the cheap. I still see them once in a while at 25 to 30 bucks. That's why I picked this one up for 30 because I think it's going to be a good trade item. Many times now I have traded one of these for a whole lot more in something that I needed not cash, trading it for something, whether it be um, groceries, whether it be sandwiches, whether it be something. And what I mean by sandwiches is, uh, if you guys didn't see when I was up in Maine, uh, Norwich Walk, Maine this last time, I traded a Morgan dollar for $50 worth of pizza and sandwiches to a store owner. And that right there should tell you. Now, did it cost her $50? No, it didn't. Would it have cost me $50 if I bought the pizza and sandwiches? Absolutely. But something like this, if I'm smart about it, I can pick these up for $25, $30. Bucks. You got to hunt a little. You don't see them often. If you go to an auction and try to pick this up, you're probably going to pay $40, $50, $60. Bucks. But that ain't an auction. Usually you go where you can pick it up and you're working one-on-one -on -one with someone that has more of these than he does dollars and he needs physical dollars. Whether he's a coin shop, whether he's a business, whether he's an individual just trying to pay his bills and make ends meet. So a lot of opportunity out there if you guys are hunting it down. That's one of the things that I try to push people to understand. Buying silver is not just for savings. If you use it as barter, you can really get the upper hand. Um, you know, it's just beneficial. And a lot of that has to do with no middleman. If I trade this to you, you're giving up something that you have a lot of. I'm giving up something that I have a lot of. We swap it out and we're both winners. Nobody takes that middleman commission. So 
We're going to talk more about this when I get that video going. So thank you all for watching. With that being said, I'm going to wrap up here. My eyes are already starting to shut. Um, I'm just kind of in autopilot as it's 3 in the morning now almost. So thank you all for watching. I hope to see you guys again on T-Square Talk. And if you want to become a member, it's only $1.99 to become a member. And we have a phenomenal giveaway possibly coming next month if we get 75 members if we don't get 75 members it's not a big deal we're still going to give away an awesome ounce of silver it just won't be a certified graded ounce of silver so thank you all for watching hope to see you guys again on t-square talk and y'all have a great day take care everybody bye-bye